Hi everybody, we're Creekside in North Carolina with the Airstream. I've been doing some fly fishing for trout and doing pretty good. When I'm out on the road in the Airstream, I always need flies. So I kind of put together my own traveling fly tying kit and that's what I wanted to show you today. Everything that I have fits in my old briefcase that I used to take to work when I worked. Um, pretty simple setup. I have two vices that I use. Grab those. I have a Traveler Vice by Renzetti. Uh, is a, it's a good travel vice. It's got a good sturdy base. I've tied a lot of flies on it. And I also have a vice, which some of you probably haven't seen. This vice is called a Dan vice. And it's a true rotary vice. It's inexpensive. But it's, it's a great vice, and I've tied a lot of flies on it. So those are the two that I take with me. I have a basic... I always have my reading glasses. And I have some basic tools that I take. We'll grab those. Basic set of tools, just uh, scissors, whip finisher, a couple dubbing needles. I also have three or four bobbins and different threads. And the way I make this work is for me, I, a lot of times I need dry flies. And I've come up with a system for tying dry flies. And it's, it's really simple. It uses... For all my winging and tails, this is everything. So I have different colors of Zelon that I use for the wings. I also use CDC puffs, and I have a bunch of different colors of those, and that's all I need. I can make caddis, I can make stoneflies, and I can make any mayfly that I need. So just real simple tailing and winging material. I use micro fibets for the wings or not for the wings i use micro fibets for the tails the neat thing is you can color those with a marker you can get any color that you need i bring along I'll just take one out i have a bunch of different dry fly necks so i had any color that i need in here These are more of the CDC puffs. So I got all different colors. So that basically is the wings, the hackle, and the tailing material for any dry fly I need. The only other piece is the dubbing. And I bring a full bag. I've got a full assortment of dubbing and just about any color you're ever gonna need. So that covers me wherever I go for dry flies. So I've got everything that I need for my dry flies right there. I also bring along, and it's a good thing, this bag is everything I need to make all the Euro nymphs that I'm going to use. Um, fishing here, I've been doing really good on paradigons, and I'm getting low on paradigons, so I'm going to have to tie some of those tonight. So I've got all the beads, I've got all the hooks, um, I've got the fibers for the tailing on the paradigons. I've got some lead-free wire, and that's pretty much everything I need for Euro nymphs all in one bag. And I've got all the hooks that I need for dry flies over here in the other bag. So with this whole kit, the only other really crazy materials I add are turkey quill and pheasant quill, and I use those a lot on my nymphs to get really good realistic legs, and they add a lot to it. 
so that's it i mean that's that's my basic on the road fly tying setup but i can tie any nymph or any dry fly that i need with just everything that fits in this bag and it's really simple if you enjoy the videos please give us a like and subscribe to the channel we look forward to hearing from everybody thanks for watching